Turkmenistan is a desert country in Central Asia. It's bordered by Kazakhstan to the northwest, Uzbekistan to the north and east, Afghanistan to the southeast, Iran to the south and southwest, and the Caspian Sea to the west. Its capital and largest city is Ashgabat, seen here. Turkmenistan is home to slightly over five million people, 85% of whom are ethnic Turkmeni Sunni Muslims. 10% of its citizens are of Russian heritage and tend to follow Russian Orthodox Christianity. Small numbers of ethnic Uzbeks live in Turkmenistan as well. The country possesses the world's fourth largest reserves of natural gas and substantial oil reserves, and Turkmenistan derives some revenue from raising cotton too. Turkmenistan lies on the route of the ancient Silk Road, and several historic structures from that era still survive here. Turkmenistan was once a member of the Soviet Union. Today, it is considered to be a unitary presidential republic, in which the president is both the head of state and the head of government. In practice, Turkmenistan was a dictatorship under its first president, Sapar Marat Niyazov, for 15 years following its independence from the USSR. Niyazov constructed several extravagant monuments like this one to himself and is believed to have stolen over a billion dollars from the country's treasury. His successor, Gurbangali Berdima Amadou, oversees what many international observers agree is one of the most isolated and repressive governments in the world today. On the bright side, however, its citizens have received free government-provided electricity, water, and natural gas since 1993. About 90% of the territory of Turkmenistan consists of the vast lands of the Karakum Desert, where extremely hot weather commonly occurs. The arid western part of the country has over 1,000 miles of desert coastline along the Caspian Sea. A huge, very salty lagoon of the Caspian Sea, called the Garabag Azkal, lies entirely within the territory of Turkmenistan. And to its east is the large Saragamish Lake. Once fed by a river, today it gets most of its water from the polluted runoff of nearby irrigated farmland. But most of the country's agricultural land is in the south near the huge Karakum Canal, which brings irrigation water for 683 miles from the Amu River in the east. Turkmenistan has few mountainous areas. However, one near the capital, Ashgabat, the Kopet Dag Range, is the wettest area of the country and forms much of its border with Iran. The Khoiten Dag Range in extreme eastern Turkmenistan is the site of its tallest peak. In general, the climate of Turkmenistan is subtropical with very little rainfall. Winters are mild, with most precipitation falling between January and May. Summers here are typically extremely hot and dry, 